Here we are down the wee knife road again. Love Them Knives channel, welcome. LTK here. We're going to talk about the wee knives. Bishop. Hey, thanks for dropping by the bishop as opposed to the deacon. What are we, in the church of we now? The we church, what? I don't get it. In any case, this is a regular size knife though. This is, this is different than the deacon. Hold on, let me, let me throw you some pictures. I mean, I, I I'll give you the link to, to my review on the deacon. Um, the deacon is different. Um, it is smaller, much smaller. It's lighter. It's got, uh, I, I think a real fine bead blast or something blade. And it was about the same price, about 250 something dollars. And we cut off 253, something like that, right? So that's the 901B, carbon fiber. So it's, it's like the Bishop is, okay? But the Bishop is like eight ounce, eight inches overall. Now the Deacon, 7.2. 36 inches overall, 3.25 inch blade. This one's got a three and a half inch blade. Okay. Both of them have Bowler M390 steel. Okay. So this one, it's the Bishop. Really nice fit and finish on this. You know, they come in different uh iterations here you can get the silver you can get the blue you can get the bronze and of course white mountain knives is where to get them uh and they're all in stock too how did we do that 253 so 10 percent off with the ltk discount code puts you at about what two and a quarter somewhere in there not bad for bowler m390 and Nice bolster lock, so you've got the carbon fiber on both sides. No messing around there. Titanium hardware. And what do we got? An opening? Yep, we got an opening. And we can flick it open. Yes, we can. So you can get it in different colors. And since you got titanium hardware, you can do different things with that too. But really, just as she lays right here, it's pretty nice. Here's the box. This is the 903B. B as in blue, apparently. And stone wash finish, all that kind of thing. Of course, in here, inside of this lovely place, and is this a sealed end? Because I only pop it open on one end when I do these. Might as well. You get a pouch. Okay. Zipper pouch. Microfiber cloth. Actually, get two little areas to put things like a knife in one side, something else in the other, that kind of thing. As opposed to, I'm just, I, I've got to do this. As opposed to zero tolerance, which makes great knives. Love it. Where's the zipper pouch? Oh, whatever. So, nothing there. You get nothing. Oh, by the way, 280 bucks. 253 okay so bowler m390 you can get it in different colors you can finger flick it beautifully done there you go inside of course you don't need to weight relieve it because you've got carbon fiber here okay just a good looking knife well done. Much lighter in the hand. Uh, let's put the scale down. Check it out. And we've got 110 grams. Wow. Three point nine ounces. So an eight inch knife. An eight and not quite an eight and a quarter. So this is about one eighth longer than this knife. 5.3 ounces, 
3.9 ounces. Now, this one's a tank. This one's a tank. But uh, this has got M3. This has got, a, you know, an M390 equivalent. But, you know, this one is going to the cocktail party, too. Because it don't look like Bully Boy down the alley. This one has got a classy look to it. Well, you can take it to church, right? It's the bishop. And you can finger flick it. And... No, you can't. And no, you can't. You got a flipper tab. In any case, how about that? And here, not such a huge, tall, aggressive flipper tab when you got jimping. Whoops. Big, tall flipper tab. No jimping. So, both good knives, though. I'm just, I'm, I'm just throwing out the example. Oh, and the, the ZT zipper pouch. Oh, doesn't exist. So, yeah, I really like this. This is a good-looking knife. You like the blade shape? I think it's excellent. It's really a nice design. All right. Nice and sharp out of the box. Stone washy, so it doesn't look too uptown. It's a real user-friendly looking finish there. But yeah, it's got this teardrop shape cutaway. And it's done that on like the rectifier and a bunch of other Wii knives. Not a bunch, but several other Wii knives have that same kind of teardrop uh, cut out there. But it's handy for finger flicking, that kind of thing. You've got a little choil here. So sharpening. Not a problem. Backspacer. Carbon fiber. This ain't no laminate. This is solid carbon fiber. I didn't take this one apart. I did send it in for testing, though. Here we go. Okay, this went in for testing. The Wee Bishop M390. Yes, it's real. And the HRC is 58.7. No, it's not, you know, 62 or whatever. But 58.7. Nothing to be ashamed of. Okay. And then there's your elemental readout there. And... If you are interested in the titanium, titanium scales, yes, they're grade 5 TI-64 titanium. Elemental readout right there. Pause and, pause and serve, whatever. So, yes, it's all verified. Ceramic bearing, ceramic detent ball, as opposed to KVT, not ceramic, not ceramic detent. Okay. Feels good in the hand. Ergos are good. This does feel light. This feels light for no bigger than it is. Uh, I mean, for as big as it is. Hold on. Where's my... Uh, where'd my little measuring tape? It just disappears on my table. But a lot of things look like they should disappear on my table as messy as it is. Three and a half inch blade. 90 millimeters. Overall, not quite eight inches. So maybe we're at about maybe a quarter inch shorter than the ZT562. But pretty much the same blade length. So which begs the question, how's that efficiency coming along there? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We're using most of this. Very light though, you know. Man, that feels light. Pretty well balanced, too. Got this jimp thumb ramp on here. Whew. Yeah, I just hadn't spent a lot of time with this before I sent it out for testing. Then I get it back. And the deacon's already gone. And so, here we go with the bishop. And you know what? I'm The deacon is a really... You know, it's a smaller, smaller knife, but it is slender. It is beautiful knife. Great, super light carry as well. Because I think that Deacon's like 2.8 ounces. So this is heavier, but not by much. It's amazing. It's amazingly light. Feels good. Ergos are good. Um, reverse grip feels good too. So this is... 
you know, a full size in a way it's kind of dressed up like a worker bee with this stonewash type presentation. And of course, stonewash under this Anno, but, uh, but classy looking because of the carbon fiber. But, you know, it does kind of drag me back, you know, to the rectifier and some of those other Wii knives that are really a great design as well. Uh, so it's kind of carrying on that tradition as well. And you don't have that cheesy, like, printed on Wii knife thing here. It, this is actually, you know, machined. I really prefer that. And of course, you don't have the old style hardware anymore. They got away from that and they've gone all to, you know, to the regular. And hold on. Let me see if I got a number eight on the table. Is that number eight? Yeah. So, yeah, that's a number eight. Uh, I kept thinking, yeah, they've gone number eight through all the hardware here. So this is all number eight Torx, which is nice. Which is nice. The detent. Um, it's appropriate. I'm trying to decide, really. You know, you don't want it too strong or you're really going to have a problem with finger flicking it. But um, I think it's appropriate. Uh, yes, I can fail it. Okay, so, I mean, I'm going to throw it in there with everything else practically. I mean, one, one viewer is like, is everything a five on your detent scale? It's like, no. I've had some three and a halves. I've had some four and a halves. I've had some six and a halves. But nothing seven and a half or eight. Probably the scale ought to end at seven, actually. It ought to be a one through seven. But... And one is like the blade won't stay there. It just drops out. So, no, this is this is a five. I failed it there. But I can fail this. And, you know, like I can fail this as well. This is, this is about the same detent as that. Maybe a little lighter detent, actually. This one holds, yeah, a little longer. Uh, but this is really close to about a 5.2, somewhere like that on my detent scale. So it's appropriate. Like the action, it's got a lanyard hole as well. Can you reverse the pocket clip? Well, I think there's an extra hole here for a reason. So yes. Left and right ambidextrous opening of course when you got a frame lock this is a right hand there are left hand frame locks out there but this is not one of them so this is kind of the way right right handers actuate it doesn't work as well for lefties in any case really good looking knife isn't it like the design really flows fit and finish is good as always I don't know how Wii Knives keeps up with the world. I mean, they got so many OEM things and mass drop things and whatever they're doing. Whew. And then they come out with their own models a lot every year, you know. God only knows how many models per year they put out. And then to do that, and uh, whew, that's just a lot. Man, but this is a... This feels good. Very smooth. Check out the top of the spine here. It's almost crowned really looking. Really smooth. No, I mean, you know, of course everything's stonewashed on here. So no hot spots at all. Backspacer. Lock side. Still pretty looking knife on this side, isn't it? Yes. The Bishop and the Deacon. Both really good looking knives. Check them out. White Mountain Knives. Get 10% off. Knock yourself down to about two and a quarter on it. And with Bowler M390 and everything, don't see how you get hurt on that. You know what we do around here? 
We love them knives. So you guys, you stay sharp.